Welcome to an airport. A complicated, complex system, just like a cell. To begin, let's start with the nucleus. The nucleus of an airport is the control tower. From the control tower, all aspects of the airport are controlled, including what planes can take off and land. Next, we have the ribosomes. They are given instructions by the nucleus to synthesize proteins. In an airport, the ribosomes are the pilots. They make the passengers and luggage arrive at the airport. The pilot lands the plane, carrying with him the passengers and the luggage. They travel on the runway to their final destination. The runway is the endoplasmic reticulum. This organelle transports newly synthesized proteins throughout the cell. The Golgi body packages macromolecules for delivery. In an airport, this would be the baggage sorter, which packages and delivers the luggage to the baggage claim. The Golgi body packages the substances into something called vesicles, which release their contents to the outside of the cell. In an airport, the vesicles would be the luggage claim carousel, which releases the luggage to the outside after traveling through the ER and the Golgi body. The cell membrane is security and customs. They control what people and luggage can enter and exit the airport. Mitochondria are called the powerhouses of the cell, and they are where the most ATP is synthesized. In the airport, this is the fuel tanker, which provides the energy for the planes. The cytoskeleton is the structure that holds organelles in place. In an airport, this is the steel structures and tubes of the hangars, planes, and buildings. Centrioles participate in cell reproduction. In airports, large airlines and local government work together to build new terminals and airports. Finally, we have cilia. These short flagella help to move particles away from a cell. In the airport, this relates to buses and trains that take people away from the airport. And that's all. Thanks for joining me for my airport cell analogy.